This is question 8 from November 2017. In the November matric paper, they split electrostatic force and electrostatic field. So this is the electrostatic field part of the question. So it says to you here, A and B are two small spheres separated by a distance of 0, 0,7 meters. Sphere A carries a charge of plus 1,5 times 10 to the negative 6, and sphere B carries a charge of minus 2 times 10 to the negative 6. Point P is a point between spheres A and B and is 0, 0,4 meters from sphere A as shown as the in the diagram. Determine the t define the term electrical field at a point, so that's the point, is the force per unit charge, positive charge placed at that point, there's your definition. Now it says to you, calculate the magnitude of the net electrical field at P. So electrical field is where the positive charge will go, we show the direction. So before we go anywhere, let's see what would happen if you place something positive at, at P. What will A do to a charge placed at P? A is positive, the charge placed at P is positive, it is going to be repelled in this direction, okay? So, you just pretend that's straight. Then what will happen here with B? B is negative, P is the unit positive charge placed at P, so positive is attracted to negative. Both of these forces are going to go in this direction because they're both they're both going to end up going here. So when we find the net electrical field, we know that the signs of them are going to be the same because they're both vectors going in the same direction. Okay, so let's calculate the net electrical field here. To calculate the net electrical field, we say E net equals the field from A plus the field from B. Okay, so we can work out what is the field from A and we use this formula E equals KQ over R squared. So we write over here E equals KQ over R squared. So let's go and just substitute here, pretend I've written the formula in here. So here is K, here is Q, 1,5 times 10 to the negative 6. Remember we don't have to put the sign in here but we do have to do something with our calculations to figure out what's going on. E equals KQ over, which means we're going to divide R squared, this distance is 0, 0,4 squared. Okay, and if we plug that into our calculator, I get something like 84375. Okay, and that'll be Newtons per Coulomb. Now we need to find the force on B okay so it's still kq i mean the field at b not the force the field at b still kq over r squared so it's still this 9 times 10 to the 9 what is the charge here though the charge here is 2 times 10 to the negative 6 so make sure that you don't put the sign there we don't need the sign there and this is divided by the distance squared so if this is comma 7 and this is comma 4 this distance is 0, 0,3 okay no that's not the symbol we want there okay so if you put this into your calculator you should end up with something like let me just check this 9 times 10 to the 9 times 2 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 0 0.3 all squared I've got 200,000 okay and that's the field it's newtons per coulomb so my e net is going to be 84375 plus 200,000 so then my e net is going to be 284375 newtons per coulomb Okay, if you wanted to, you could round this off and um, put it in scientific notation rather. It would be 2,84 times 10 to the power of positive 5 newtons per coulomb. But that's how you find the net electrical field. Now it says to you, a point charge of magnitude 3 times 10 to the negative 9 is placed at P. Calculate the magnitude of the electrostatic force experienced by this charge. So to calculate this force, 
The field is the force per unit charge. So we know what the force is, I mean the field is, if this was one coulomb. So we're going to substitute into this equation with the value of the charge. So E equals F over Q. Okay. So E equals F over Q. So we have this value for E from the previous question. Okay. So we want to find the force. We don't know the force over what is this charge here 3 times 10 to the negative 9 so then by the power invested in you by algebra you can work out that the force is going to be 8 comma 5 2 times that's not times times 10 to the negative 4 and this is a force so we measure it in newtons and they just asked for the magnitude so we don't need a direction but that's how we do it because the field is the force per unit charge and now we've got a three times the size of that three times 10 to the 9 and this ends up as your final answer